Hello, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are fine and happy wherever you are. I am Teacher Balkis and welcome back to my English class. Today, we are going to learn about super friends. Who are super friends? I will tell you after this. In today's lesson, we will get to know super friends characters and we will watch a short story about super friends. Untuk pembelajaran kita hari ini, kita akan belajar tentang Super Friends. Karakter Super Friends yang ada di dalam buku teks dan kita juga akan menonton a short story about Super Friends. So, who are these people? Who are Super Friends? So, these four kids, one, two, three, four, four of them are called Super Friends. Empat orang ini kita panggil Super Friends. Empat orang ni pertama, kedua, ketiga dan keempat ini akan ada dalam buku teks awak sepanjang awak belajar bahasa Inggeris di tahun 1. Okay, let's start with this guy. His name is Whisper. Nama dia Whisper. He is wearing a red jacket with a white t-shirt and a pair of blue pants with red shoes. So, his name is Whisper. Remember, Whisper is wearing a red jacket. Okay, the boy in front of Whisper is called Thunder. Lelaki di depan Whisper ni kita panggil Thunder. Thunder is wearing a blue jacket. And if you can see, he is also wearing a white t-shirt inside his jacket. And other than that, he is wearing a pair of grey shorts with black socks and blue shoes. Alright, now look at the girl in front of Thunder. She is Misty. Her name is Misty. Nama dia Misty. Misty is wearing purple from head to toe. Misty ni, dia mesti suka warna purple. Sebab dia pakai daripada klip rambut sampai ke kasut. Warna purple. So, she is wearing a dark purple sweater with a pair of light purple shorts and a pair of purple shoes. Misty is talking to Flash. Okay, this girl is Flash. Flash is wearing turquoise from head to toe too. Okay, dia pun pakai daripada atas sampai bawah. Warna turquoise. Okay, she is wearing a turquoise sweater with a pair of turquoise shorts and a pair of turquoise shoes. So, the girls like to wear the same colors from head to toe. Yang perempuan suka pakai daripada atas sampai bawah warna yang sama. Okay, so remember, we have whisper, thunder, misty and flash. Kita ada empat orang yang kita kena kenal. Whisper, thunder, misty and flash. Okay, why are they called super friends? Kenapa empat orang ni dipanggil super friends? Aha, do you want to know why? Because they have super power. Sebab empat orang ni ada kuasa. That's why they are called super friends. Kuasa apa teacher? Tak faham. Okay, let me tell you about their power. Teacher akan bagitahu tentang kuasa yang empat orang ni ada. We will start with whisper. Okay, this is Whisper. Okay, remember Whisper is wearing a red jacket. Okay, what is Whisper power? Okay, Whisper, he can talk to animals. Whisper, dia boleh bercakap dengan haiwan. Dia boleh faham apa yang haiwan cakap. So, that is his power. He can talk to animals. Now, what about the other one? The other boy is Thunder. Thunder is super strong. This boy is really, really strong. Okay, dia sangat kuat tanda ni. That's why his name is Thunder. Sebab tu nama dia Thunder. Thunder guruh. Kuat. Okay, he can lift heavy things. Dia boleh angkat benda-benda yang berat. Dia memang sangat kuat. Okay, Thunder. Tengok muka dia. He is a very strong boy. Okay, now. What about Flash? Flash, the girl wearing turquoise from head to toe. Yang pakai warna turquoise ni. She has super speed. Dia bergerak dengan sangat laju. And that is why her name is Flash. Sebab tu nama dia Flash. Flash ni adalah kilat. Push. Sekejap je tapi dia laju. Okay. Flash dia boleh 
berlari, kita sampai tak nampak dia lari sebab terlalu laju. Okay, so that is flash. Flash sangat laju. And the last one, we have misty. Okay, misty. Kenapa nama dia misty? Misty means kabus. Kabus. Which means misty can become invisible. Dia boleh menghilang. Kita tak nampak. Walaupun dia ada di situ, tapi dia invisible. Tak nampak. Ha, Tiba-tiba je, misty, misty, mana misty? Sebenarnya misty ada sebelah kita. Tapi disebabkan dia ada kuasa menghilang. So, kita tak nampak dia. So, that is her superpower. She can become invisible. Alright. Now, do you want to watch a short story about them? Let's watch it together. Kita akan tengok sama-sama short story about the super friends. to animals. What's your name, cat? I'm Tabby. Wow! How old are you? Meow. No, listen to me. How old are you? I'm four. Cool. Okay, now let's look again. Okay, at the first scene, you can see this boy with a blue jacket. Do you still remember his name? Ingat tak nama dia siapa? Yes, this is Thunder. The strong one. Thunder yang kuat. He can lift the table. This one is very heavy. Ini sangat berat. But Thunder can lift it with one hand. Dia boleh angkat dengan satu tangan je. Which means he is very strong. So, and look at his friends over here. Look at their faces. Wow! They said, wow. Why? Because he is so strong. That's why. Okay. Now, look at Flash. She says, Look at me. And she runs very fast. Dia lari sangat laju sampai keluar asap. Punya laju sampai keluar asap. Lari-lari. And then, her friend says, cool. Kawan-kawan dia kata, cool. Cool means kalau awak nampak sesuatu yang macam kagum, mengagumkan, wow. Awak cakap, cool. Okay. Look at her friends. Semua orang muka macam, wow, cool. Sebab boleh lari laju. And then, This is Misty. Remember the girl wearing purple from head to toe? Yang pakai daripada dia punya klip rambut ni sampai ke kasut warna purple. Dia kata, my turn. Giliran saya. Look. Tengok. Dia boleh meng menghilang. And look at Flash face. Tengok muka Flash. Terkejut. And thunder. And whisper. Semua muka terkejut. Macam mana Misty boleh hilang? She becomes invisible. Misty. Tengok. She is here. Actually, Misty is here. Still with them. Masih ada di sini. Tapi tak nampak. Sebab Misty becomes invisible. So, dia cari-cari. Look at Whisper's face. Dia cari, eh, mana Misty ni? So, they ask. Misty? Semua tanya. Misty di mana? Actually, Misty is there. Ada di situ. And then, Flash ask. What about you, Whisper? Kita dah tahu dah. Tanda tadi boleh angkat meja. Flash boleh beri laju. And then, Misty boleh menghilang. So, Flash tanya, what about you, Whisper? Awak macam mana pula, Whisper? And then, Whisper replies, I speak to animals. Saya bercakap dengan haiwan. Haiwan apa ni? This is a cat. So, Whisper is trying to speak with this cat. So, let's see. So, Whisper dia ada kuasa dia dekat haiwan tu. And then, Whisper ask, what's your name? Cat, remember we learn about 
the phrases how to ask someone's name. Semalam kita belajar macam mana nak tanya nama kan. So hari ni whisper dia gunakan phrase tu. Dia tanya dekat kucing. So he ask what's your name cat? And the cat can answer him. He says I'm Tabby. Dia boleh jawab. Whisper boleh faham apa yang kucing tu cakap. Sebab whisper ada super power to speak with animals. And then tanda come. Kemudian tanda datang. Tanda kata, Wow, how old are you? Tanda tanya kucing ni. Wow, umur awak berapa? Sebab tadi dia tengok whisper boleh bercakap dengan kucing kan? Jadi tanda pun nak cubalah bercakap dengan kucing. Tapi kucing ni jawab, Meow. Kenapa kucing ni jawab meow? Sebab tanda cannot speak to animals. Tanda tak faham pun apa yang kucing ni cakap. Dan tanda macam, eh, why? Why can't I understand him? Kenapa saya tak faham apa yang dia cakap? Kucing ni pun, ah, tak nak lah. Dia tak faham apa yang saya cakap. Jalan lah. Tapi whisper says, no, listen to me. Dia kata, tak, tak dengar dulu. Dengar macam mana cara saya bercakap dengan kucing ni. So, tengok dia bagi kuasa dia, berhubung minda dia dengan kucing ni. Dan dia kata, how old are you? Dia tanya, umur awak berapa? And look, the cat can actually answer him. Tadi cat tu tak boleh jawab bila tanda yang tanya kan. Bila whisper yang tanya, kucing ni boleh jawab. Dia kata, I'm four. Kucing ni berumur empat tahun. And look at their faces. Tengok muka semua orang terkejut. Lagi-lagi tanda. Tanda terkejut. Eh, tadi saya tanya tak dapat jawab. Yang ni dia boleh jawab. Sebab tanda tak ada super power to speak with animals kan. Whisper ada kuasa tu. That's why whisper je yang boleh bercakap dengan kucing. Look at their faces. All of them are so amazed right now. Cool. Semua cakap cool. Maksudnya wow. Whisper boleh bercakap dengan haiwan. Amazing. Alright, now you already know the super friends and you also know their super powers. Dah kenal super friends, dah tahu kuasa masing-masing. Now it's time to do an activity. First, you have to pick your favorite super friend. Awak kena pilih satu super friend yang paling awak suka. Tak kisahlah if you want Flash, Whisper, Thunder or maybe Misty. And then after that... Think of what would you do if you have his or her power. Kemudian fikir, kalau saya ada kuasa macam dia ni, apa yang saya nak buat? Okay, and after you have think of that, write your answer at the comment section below. Bila dah dapat jawapan, dah tahu nak jadi siapa, eh, suka siapa, nak jadi macam siapa, dan kalau ada kuasa nak buat apa, jawab di ruangan komen. Okay, macam mana nak jawab teacher? Don't worry, I will give you an example. Teacher akan bagi contoh. Okay, so this is the example. Okay, contoh untuk teacher eh. Contoh teacher yang jawab soalan tu. Teacher akan kata, Hi, I'm Balkis. I like whisper. Teacher suka whisper. So, teacher kata, I like whisper. If I have his superpower, I want to help animals in need. Hi, I'm Balkis. I like whisper. Kalau awak suka tanda, awak jawab I like tanda. And the same goes to Misty and Flash. Kalau suka Misty, jawab I like Misty. Kalau suka Flash, jawab I like Flash. If I have his superpower, kalau kita ada superpower dia, I want to help animals in need. Kalau teacher ada superpower whisper ni, teacher nak tolong haiwan-haiwan yang dalam kesusahan. Macam mana teacher boleh tolong haiwan dalam kesusahan? Sebab super power whisper, he can speak to animals. Dia boleh bercakap dengan haiwan. Jadi, bila teacher dengar kucing sebut, Miau! Teacher tahulah dia sakit ke, dia lapar ke, ataupun mungkin dia nak minta tolong carikan anak dia ke. Kalau kita tak ada kuasa ataupun tak ada super power untuk bercakap dengan haiwan, kita cuma dengan miau je. Kita tak faham pun dia nak apa sebenarnya kan? Ha, so, if I have that super power... I want to help animals. Teacher nak tolong haiwan. Okay, so don't forget to comment, to leave your comment at the comment section below. Jangan lupa tinggalkan komen. Okay? Alright, that's for the comment section. Now, for today's task, you have to download this worksheet from the description box below. Uh, untuk tugasan hari ini, awak perlu download worksheet ini 
di dalam ruang description di bawah. Kemudian, uh, teacher akan letakkan link di situ. Just click on that link. Kemudian, awak boleh dah download. Kalau tak ada printer di rumah, you can just copy and draw by your own on your own paper. Okay, kalau tak ada printer, no problem. Boleh tulis dalam buku sendiri. Kita ada buku dah kan? So, tulis dalam buku. Okay, so what you have to do is, you have to design your superhero costume. Design. Teacher ada dah, teacher dah letak dah ni. Dia punya badan. So, it, it's not hard for you. Teacher dah letak badan. Awak tinggal lukiskan kostum saja. Apa tu kostum teacher? Kostum means baju. Baju awak punya superhero tu. Mungkin ada orang nak letak ada tali pinggang besar ke. Ataupun dia nak letak ada sayap ke. Ataupun ada pedang. So, that is completely up to you. Tak kisah. Awak nak design your kostum macam mana pun tak kisah. And after that, you have to color the picture. Dah habis lukis semua tu, color. Lukis lawa-lawa dan warnakan lawa-lawa. After that, write your superhero name. Kat sini, my superhero name is siapa? Okay. You can you can create your own name. Tak tak semestinya nama awak. Your superhero name. Okay. Nak nama siapa-siapa. Contoh. Aiman Power. Contoh. Okay. After that, write your superpower. What is your superpower? Okay, tulis kat sini. Contoh, awak nak become invisible. So, my superpower is invisible. Okay. So, right. You can choose uh, any superpower that we have just learned just now. Okay. After that, write your age. You are 7 years old. So, you have to write, I am 7 years old. After you are done with your worksheet, submit your work on our WhatsApp group. Like always, hantar dalam Group WhatsApp. Lukis lawa-lawa. Tulis lawa-lawa. Make sure I can read your handwriting. Okay. Tulis lawa-lawa dan lukis lawa-lawa sebab nanti semua orang nampak ni awak punya kerja. So, bagilah biar kita rasa gembira tengok orang lain punya dan tengok kita punya juga. Alright, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy our lesson and see you next time. Assalamualaikum. Tata Titi Tutu. Teacher pergi dulu. Bye-bye and thank you.